You ever talk to somebody, have a conversation, and you're going along and realize that one or both of you has no clue what the other person is talking about. So we're talking about today, Everyday KT, number 279, speaking and listening. So talking to someone and ensuring that they understand you is a very difficult skill to master. And I ran into this problem just today. Someone was asking me, it's like, KT, so why do you wear the kilt and do those videos? I'm like, well, I started talking about the kilt. I started talking about empowerment and all of these other different things. And I realized that I was having a very difficult time explaining what I'm trying to do. And it was painfully obvious because he kept asking questions about what I'm doing. And it wasn't really working. So that spawned, or inspired, I apologize, that inspired tonight's video. When you are talking, make sure you're talking to someone. And in order to do that, you have to know who you're talking to. If you are trying to explain nuclear physics to a kindergartner, you need to speak kindergartner. You might know everything that Einstein knew, thrown in with everything Tesla knew, and every other person out there, and you're like the Bob Ross of nuclear physics, but if the kindergartner doesn't understand what you're saying, then it doesn't matter. So, first thing you have to do is make sure that you are able to articulate the, the intent and idea of your particular whatever clearly and in a fashion that the person listening can understand it. Secondly, you have to make sure that they're engaged and they actually want to hear what you have to talk about. If you go into a bunch of college kids and start talking about septic systems, probably going to lose them unless they all happen to be at a Vogue school dedicated to septic systems. Doubtful. So you got to make sure that they're engaged, which means you can use humor, use jokes, use silliness, use anything you can. I mean, you pull a Robin Williams if you really want to. It doesn't matter. Keep them engaged. But you have to do so in a manner where they're still understanding. You don't have to speak over their heads. Think of it this way. Have you ever been talking to someone and they're talking and they are on a roll, but you have no clue what they're saying? Not a clue. They're using industry jargon. They're using technical terms. They're using stuff related to what they do that you don't do. And you feel stupid. It happens to me a lot when I'm talking to people and all kinds of different things. I'm like, I have no clue what the hell you just said. You try to avoid that at all costs. Try to avoid talking over someone's head. Figure out where they are and talk right to them. Now, the other half of that equation is the listening. You have to be able to sit there and actually want to hear what is being said. Listen to the person, what they're saying and how they're saying it. And then be able to reiterate it back to them. That's the hard part, is understanding what they said, and being able to tell them what they said in words that they and you both understand. So this whole thing of talking and listening, speaking and listening, it's communication. In order to have active communication, the person saying has to be able to convey their message in a fashion where the person listening can not only understand it, but they can in turn tell that information to someone else and get the exact same points across. That's the key. And I struggled with that today, and I don't know why. But it's something I have to work on because I got into a groove and I started talking about empowering people to be themselves and stop worrying about what everybody says about them and all of these other stuff. And he's like, okay, so what are you doing? And I was floored. So I've got a lot of research to do to narrow down the five-minute uh, definition of what I'm doing to 30 seconds or less. So that's why you have to have good communication because if you can talk to someone, explain what you have to do, they understand it, both people are happy. Why does this matter? Because every one of us who wears a kilt is asked regularly, why do you wear the kilt? Or something along those lines. If you can communicate that message, why you're wearing it effectively to someone who does not, then you've nailed it, you've mastered the skill. Very well done. If you haven't, they're going to be confused and think you're a weirdo. They still might think you're a weirdo anyway, even if they do understand your message, but at least they'll understand your message. So make sure that when you're communicating, you ensure that they're listening to you and you're 
conveying a message that they want to hear and can understand. If you can do that, you're aces and you're going to have a fantastic time no matter what you're doing. And yes, I'm wearing a black shirt on a black background because I'm trying to pull the whole, hey, look, I have, I'm have i headless me, my head's floating, but this has a, a different material than the background, so it didn't work out so well. Maybe next time. Uh, somebody throw out a volume of Kiltology, if you don't mind. Um, and we'll get this thing wrapped up because you have things to do. I have to go make some fudge and it's going to be awesome. And no, it's not vodka. It's just water. So I'm going to grab volume two because this thing's been going pretty well. Oh, Kelly swings into volume one. So communication. So communication, the whole thing between communicating effectively is imparting your perception of reality to someone else in such a fashion that they can understand it. Kiltology, volume one, number 38. A kilt is only as spectacular as its wearer. Even the simplest of kilts can be made exquisite with the right attitude. What does that mean? That means that you can walk in to any place wearing a beat up kilt that is nearing its send in to get worked on date and be a complete rock star simply because of the attitude you carry and your ability to communicate effectively. If you can tell people your story and they love it and they want more of it, then you're, you, you're a rock star. Hands down, no questions about it. And with that, I'll let you go. It's Monday night. We've all survived another Monday. Tomorrow's going to be another awesome day. Get out there, kick some ass. And do me a favor, share this video. Or maybe it's one of the other ones. Do me I'm almost to 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. The link's in the description below. Share it with everybody you can. Love to hit 200 in the next day or two. And with that, I'll let you go. Be strong. Put a kilt on.